What is a Mercedes T-Class? Well, it's <laughs> certainly not this electric longboard made from aluminum, but I can see the comments coming. Where can I get this board? We'll talk about it later. This is the new Mercedes T-Class as a first concept prototype vehicle as EQT. That means it's the electric version and there will be both versions, the electric one and also petrol and diesel. It shall be a new entry level van, supposed to be even cheaper than the Mercedes A-Class as the short version. This is here the long version today. And you can see this EQ resemblance. We've recently seen the all new electric S-Class, the EQS, and here you can see the black panel front grille with the small star, or oh, the tiny stars in the front. The charging port will be hidden behind that one later on, and the black panel here reserved for the electric version. However, the petrol and the diesel version will look a little bit different. In the length, you can see it's um, more or less looking like an you know, V-Class or EQV. It's also not that short in this longer version, 4 meters 94 or 194 inches. Again, this is the longer version. They will also be the shorter one than also with the entry price. And you can see it's more or less a one box design. A lot of glass, also very interesting panoramic roof on the top. Here, this concept vehicle has 20 inch wheels, but from the whole shape, it's supposed to be already quite close to the later on all realistic vehicle. So as an electric vehicle, the range won't be that high because when we look at the Renault Corporation partner, we are at about 44 kilowatt hours as for the battery and 260 kilometers or 160 miles for the range. Even more interesting will be the normal petrol and diesel versions because you can get the price lower. And here in the rear, you can see an interesting light signature going all the way across the vehicle. So this is supposed to bring more design character to a van world and maybe also for families clearly designed on private use. So the Mercedes T-Class will be the private version, also in the EQT, the EV, and the Citan or E-Citan will still be the commercial versions as you maybe also know today. Well, in the family van, it's more important to have more versatility so we don't go from front to rear, but from rear to the front. And here, you can see, <laughs> because I want to show off that to you, this is the storage space here for the electric longboard. And let me put that in again. Here we go. Careful not to scratch the precious concept. Here we go. So, you <laughs> have your board stall, also for the helmet, for example, and for other accessories. And here, the third seating row, you can either fold the seats or you can also completely take them off. And also, the shorter version will only have five seats. This one here, the longer version, seven seats. Interesting door handle concept. You press it here and then they come towards you like this. It will probably be a little bit different in the final version. Sliding doors on both sides. That's of course really good for families. So you can get your kids in and out, especially also with child seats. Isofix at the outside parts here on the second seating row. And you can see this is already delivering a lot of space and easy in and out. And well, in this case, already quite high. So definitely ideal for kids and yeah, I feel ra rather lost here. Then like, no middle tunnel at all, so you can easily slide to the middle part. And once again, I think for kids, ideal because you sit so high, you have good view to the front and so on. By the way, these seats here, they are from animal skin. To put that in a concept vehicle, an electric one in 2021, very doubtful and not in compliance with the sustainable luxury claim by Mercedes, definitely not. So then let's fold the seats like this. And this is one of the coolest things here in this vehicle. You can see here an easy access to the third seating row then. And also with a good cover here that you don't, you know, scratch the seat here on the back part. Maybe it could be a little bit longer because when the kids are getting in and out, yeah, now let's get inside. And it's always a lot of fun to get in the third seating row. And I smell the comments, Thomas in the third row. <laughs> well, here we go. And we can slide the seat forward and backward here in the third seating row, but as I said, you can also completely remove it. And when they're all the way back, then it's also possible to get behind the second seating row in the final version, probably will also be possible to lean them a little bit more forward. But even as it is here like this, you can sit here, you can push out the head restraints, of course, a little bit higher and so on. Headroom wise, no problem. You can take a look here at the panoramic roof now. This is amazing. Not sure how this one will come in the final version, but it's definitely you know very roomish concept. So 
On the one hand, you have a design focus here, especially with this, you know, show car here today. But on the other hand, you can see the versatility of this vehicle. And we have to swallow somewhat because of the, you know, of the, of the budget approach in a way, the low electric range of the full EV version. At the same time, the low enterprise, also especially for the ICE versions, will be really attractive. That's, I think, what's making this car, um, you know, so interesting to the market because the Mercedes V-Class or the EQV, the electric version, they're super expensive. This is now where the T-Class or EQT will fill in the gap. And you can see here, already quite versatile in the rear. By the way, that you can see the folding down process one more time here. That's the reason why it goes so flat because the lower seating area goes into the footwell. Very clever idea and we already know it from the Honda Magic seats, for example. Now the front cockpit, also with the bright styling and look at that, this is a special theme here also for the prototype vehicle and you can see it on the dashboard. But I want to see your comments, I mean, <laughs> doesn't it look like when sometimes you buy some new electronics and there's this blue foil, you know, to protect something and you think of, ah, let's Let's get it off. In this case, it's meant to be that color, but can be easily mistaken for that, can it? Then steering wheel, we know it from you know, Mercedes E-Class before it was changed into capacitive buttons, and I think that's a really good solution. You can still feel how you can set the cruise control on the right side and for the volume and so on, so I prefer this version definitely. Instruments, analog left and right in the middle part, a little bit more digital, but not digital all yet, and you see here, yeah, range something ab um, over 200, 220 kilometers, not entirely full, of course, but it goes along together with my estimation. Then the seat, you can see here, rather looks car seat alike. So let's take a seat right there and check out the comfort. Easy entry also in the front. Manual control. And this feels actually quite familiar. So um, the interesting thing is that on the outside, very futuristic, of course, also with the electric longboard, it was also very futuristic. But here in the front, it's more or less, you know, a classic or familiar feeling. And you have to think about, there's still the Renault Corporation, but at this point, unlike for the last generation, Mercedes was more involved in the design and technology process and also could set, you know, more own goals. And that's what we also see in here in this whole interior. And the interior overview, a straightforward user interface, because here we have the rather classic dials here for the temperature and also for the vents. So this, well, maybe here the, the shifting lever is blocking it a little bit. That's a problem, but we also know that from the from the V-Class. And here, a seven inch touchscreen, it's off at the moment, but it will look exactly the same like from the MUX surface, the infotainment system, I may say, also with a good voice input and so on. We know it from other models, so this will be actually quite the same. And this is also new to this small van segment or mid-size van segment that you have a sophisticated infotainment system. You will also be able to control these here by the touch controls at the steering wheel here for the, for the infotainment system with the right thumb and for the middle instruments here with your left thumb. So overall, rather simple, but again, everything also in a Apple CarPlay, Android Auto will also be available then over the MBOX. So this will be quite interesting. And now to our conclusion for today with... Goodbye. <laughs> and hello again with the Mercedes T-Class, a first look, especially now with the EQT focus for the day, the all-electric version. So what's the crucial thing here about the new T-Class is? It will be an entry-level van and especially interesting as a petrol or diesel version probably today more as the petrol version because then maybe you know have a family and you can get a van with a way lower price than the Mercedes V-Class and still have some you know Mercedes MBUX infotainment system on the inside some other luxury features and of course yeah just a star badge instead of a Renault badge in the front that will be very important would be to me maybe as well the electric version probably not that high in the range so this won't be the most interesting thing Although visually, of course, it's the interesting thing for today. The EQT, especially with this black panel design. And I think it's also a quite interesting approach to bring some more design objective here in this segment, because this is also catching some interest of new customers, probably. 
on the in interior, it's really interesting that there will be you know, foldable second seating row. This will be quite practical and also especially with the two sliding doors. And in the rear then, flexible, they can take out the seats as well. This being the longer version already comes quite close to a Mercedes V-Class as we see today in the shortest version. So maybe even more interesting will be the short version of that because it will be even more accessible in the price and you can get along in the city even better. So looking forward to that. We will keep you updated here on our channel with the all-new Mercedes T-Class. And now you know what the T is. Well, maybe they could have named it T1000 or something. Yeah, that would have been cool, right? But this day, the EQT for the day. Looking forward to your comments. What do you think? Would you go for an EQT, an all-electric version? Or would you be, in general, interested in an all-new Mercedes T-Class? Let me know. See you in the comments. See you next time.